Gabby, the hippie historian, and today I'm bringing you seven ways to survive on the rail at a concert. We're talking what you need to wear, when you should show up, and more. So keep watching. Okay, so number one is to show up early. Know what time fans get there for the concert you're going to. I can't tell you how often people say to me, oh my gosh, I saw how close you were for such and such a concert. You're so lucky. No. There's no luck involved. I showed up probably at like 9 a.m., noon, whatever time, depending on the band, will get me up front on the rail so that we go in, I'm one of the first people in there. Okay, my second piece of advice is to wear the right shoes. I cannot stress how important footwear is, especially if you're going to be waiting at a concert for hours and hours. So first things first, no flip-flops, no open-toed shoes. You do not want your feet to be black and blue the next day or to be in pain most of the concert. Second off, I love my chucks, but I don't wear them to concerts because there is no support. Um, I think you're better to go off with like a combat boot or a running shoe. Um, I love wearing these bad boys to concerts. There's so much support and I don't really feel anything. Be wide. So when you get to the rail, you do not want to be squished like this because that is only going to get worse throughout the concert until you're basically off the rail. So start wide. Um, you don't need to like squat and be an asshole and be so wide that you're taking up the space of three people, but sit comfortably with your elbows a little bit out on the rail because that is inevitably going to get smaller, your space. So make sure that you're not so uncomfortable that you get pushed off later in the show. Number four, don't feel obligated to switch places with people. Um, I kind of feel bad saying this, but I've been approached by a lot of people shorter than me at concerts, and I'm not that tall, um, to switch place or ask if I would let them go on the rail instead. And I no longer have a problem saying no. I put in the time, I showed up early, if they want the spot on the rail, they can show up early, but uh, no, sorry. Okay, so number five is one I have just had to test through trial and error basically and that's drink the right amount so don't drink so little all day that you get in there and you feel like you're gonna faint because I've done that before and don't drink so much that you have to pee in the middle of the show because your chances of getting back on the rail are slim to none depending on the concert either way it's gonna suck if you have to leave and miss anything so um, pace yourselves little sips and uh, I'm sure you'll find that sweet spot for you Number six is one I cannot stress enough, is just be cool to the security guards. Chat them up, um, ask them how they're doing. They are there to make sure that you have a safe experience, hopefully, in most cases they are. Um, and also, some of them have really, really cool stories about other bands they've seen, interactions they've had, so it's never a bad idea to just talk to them and listen, more importantly. Finally, number seven is know what to expect and expect the unexpected. No two concerts are the same, so you can't know exactly what's going to happen, but you can prepare yourself for what might happen and decide if the rail's for you. And if it's not for you, that's okay too. Um, if I go see Arctic Monkeys, I expect a lot of young, young teenagers there screaming their faces off because this is one of their favorite bands and one of their first concert experiences, and that's cool. But it's a totally different experience. Um, if I go see Nine Inch Nails, I expect the show to be a little bit more rough. If I go see Black Pistol Fire, I expect everyone to be dancing their asses off. So every show is different, and just try to figure out that ahead of time if you are unsure about whether that's for you or not. But you know what? Just have fun. Enjoy the music. Try not to let anybody who's being weird around you ruin the show for you. Enjoy the people you meet in line, and have fun.